that will officially close the books on the last item I need to do for what was once my dream job. Let's go to the post office. Going down. Right now I have the camera rested on my AC vent. So if I come to a sudden stop and you go flying, that is why. This is the last piece of work that I have to do for my job because I was laid off. This package is my laptop that I need to return. And when I return it, that will officially close the books on the last item I need to do for what was once my dream job. It's funny that this one to-do list item, which takes probably about 10 minutes of my time, has taken me two weeks to accomplish. accomplished. I wanted to film in there but it was actually very crowded for being the middle of the day. The job that I was working in was my dream job. I was a data scientist at a Fang company working on a virtual assistant that you or someone you know definitely has in your household. And if you had asked me five years ago what my dream job was, I probably would have described something similar to what I've been doing for the last few years. To reach a point in your life where you get to do your dream job is so incredibly exciting and fulfilling. But the reality was that the dream that I had in my head never really lived up to the expectation of what the job was. I was overworked and didn't get to spend the time that I thought I would get to spend doing what I love to do, which was writing code and solving puzzles. I feel like I was spending more of my time dealing with office politics and avoiding landmines and walking on eggshells and working 15 hour days for months on end and giving my weekends to something that I stopped believing in a while back. And it's sad to have that realization, but I am happy to have experienced it. The issue was I was spending so much time in my day to day. I had my head so sucked into the weeds of my job that I never really came up for air to ask myself if this is what I still wanted to be doing. And the reality was it wasn't. And I knew that deep down, but I didn't know how to change that. And I was too busy to even think through the steps of how to properly change that. I have had over the years polls and directions of creativity and financial freedom. If you've been following this channel, you know about my Joshua Tree build that I've been doing. And this channel itself has been an expression of creativity that I've really enjoyed. But the reality was that these were only fractions of my day to day. Most of my time was spent working and worrying and diving into things that ultimately didn't matter as much to me as I thought that they would. And the reality is I'm more excited about what is to come. I'm more excited about the things that I have ahead of me. And in fact, I'm more excited than I've been in a long time. What I've learned throughout this process is there's no such thing as a dream job. Dream jobs kind of sit in this level above reality where we see a snapshot of what it might be like to live this day to day and be this person, but that snapshot is two dimensional. And when you get to that point, your life is still happening. The world still exists in the way that it's always existed. And that job likely won't live up to those expectations. I can't speak for everyone. I can only speak for myself, but I have a feeling I'm not the only one that feels this way. What I do know now and what I've been spending a lot of time thinking about is that while there's no dream job, there is a dream life. I think if we're thoughtful and picturing the reality of our lives and building out three dimensional pictures of what they could be, we're more likely to build up something that will make us happy in the long term. So what I have been obsessing about over the last few weeks and months and what I really want to talk about more on this channel is how I can build a happier life for myself 
and hopefully give you all some inspiration of how you can build your life to be happier as well. For me, this means I no longer aspire to have the ideal nine to five corporate job. I've actually spent, been spending a lot of time thinking about what I want in a nine to five job. And the reality is, I think like a lot of people, I'd love to forego corporate life altogether. And I wanna take steps to move in that direction, but I am not born into a rich family or just a billionaire by luck. So because of that, I have to be intentional about the systems that I'm building to create something better. But I do want to, in the spirit of moving away from nine to five, double down on my real estate investments. And I'm gonna be talking more about what is to come with Joshua Tree and what I plan on doing with other investments in the future. It's also important to me that I spend time doing the things that really pull my interest. And one of those things for me is traveling. I've always loved to travel. I don't think I'm unique in that, but I do think that not a lot of people have the time and resources available to them to travel as much as they'd love to. And so I've been trying to think of ways that I can build a life where travel is a big part of it and I can be more location independent and have time to have the time and the space to get to go to the places that I want to go because one of my biggest fears is to reach the end of my life and not have seen enough of the world. Another thing that I want to focus on is creating. I think being creative is an important part to anyone's life and I think everyone has it within them to be creative in some way and I think that accessing that creativity will make you happier no matter who you are. As a kid, I was so creative in building short little movies that I would take on this digital camera that I got and editing them and then playing them back for my friends and family. I would make stop motion video movies as well that I would spend days and days and days filming where you move the character like one millimeter and film it and then keep doing that again and again and the video itself would maybe be 10 seconds and it would take me forever to do but I loved doing it. It wasn't really about the product, it was more about the process. I was musical, I played piano and a bunch of instruments growing up and I'd love to get back to that and tap into that side again and these are all things that I felt like I didn't have time to do when my energy was all poured into something that was work. And I realized that I never want to go back to that space again, even if it means taking a pay cut or ending up in a job that doesn't fill me up. That's okay because I want to have other pieces of my life that work for me. This also means in the spirit of creativity that I want to double down on this channel. I'm making a commitment to do two videos a week for the next three months. I've been doing a lot of goal planning and soul searching and I'll talk about that maybe in another video. I want to just double down on the art of creating even if it is cringy and even if it is hard for me to watch back when I'm editing. I hope that other people find some value in what I'm doing but I also think that the process of just documenting my life and feelings and what I'm going through, especially in such a transitional period, is just really appealing to me right now. I realize that layoffs are hard and right now a lot of companies are going through a time of uncertainty. I know at my company alone close to 30,000 people were let go. My layoff was completely outside of my control. I was in the wrong place at the wrong time. But if you're going through a layoff or someone you know is going through a layoff right now and you're struggling, uh, maybe your layoff isn't as positive or as happy as mine has felt to me. I can sympathize that with that and I understand because it does take a big mindset shift to feeling like you failed to understanding that there are more opportunities ahead. I think my hope for you in watching this video is that you feel inspired for what is to come. Whether you have a job right now or you don't, that taking steps to make space in your life to build something better can be achievable. And I hope that me sharing the steps that I'm taking to do that will be inspiring to you. You're not alone if you're struggling mentally with a layoff or you know somebody who's struggling through it as well. It's not all rainbows and butterflies and there's a lot of reality of figuring out finances and healthcare and figuring out how you're gonna pay rent. If you feel so inspired, feel free to leave a comment below. 
of your situation if you found yourself in something similar or if you don't want to be so public about it you can reach out to me in dms over instagram if this video is helpful for you please give it a like it's not easy to bear your soul on the internet and if you are interested in learning more about the ways that i'm going to build a happier life please subscribe so we can go on this journey together all right guys i have been sitting in the gym parking lot for the last 20 minutes recording this video so i need to go work out before i lose that motivation all right see you in the next one